this is it. This is the video I've been planning to make for about three months now. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm a little, I wouldn't say nervous, maybe just anxious, because this video, this video right here, right now for me, makes this moment more real than it's ever been. So, I, all right, first give me the intro, then we'll get into it. Give me everything, yeah, I need, uh, I need everything, I need all of everything, yeah. I don't quite know how to start this. About four years ago, I opened up my own business. I opened up a barbershop called Headquarters Cut and Shave. It's an upscale barbershop, and in the town that I currently live in, there really wasn't ever a type of barbershop like the one that I opened up anywhere around there. So it was kind of this new, fresh flavor that I brought to the town. When I built this business, it wasn't the same feeling as if I opened up a barbershop in, let's say, Queens, New York, or Manhattan or Brooklyn. You go to any populated type of city and there is a place to get your hair done every block or every other block. For me it was something different because the area that I'm in never had anything like what I was planning on doing. So it was a challenge, it was a project, it was a goal, but it never felt like the end game. And once this channel started growing and once I became more connected with you guys and building a bigger audience and, and really getting a chance to put my creative side on display with this whole YouTube thing. I found myself waking up wanting to film and not have to worry about money rather than go to work to a thriving business. I mean a booming business. A business where you would have to make an appointment to get a haircut a few days in advance. People would roll in in the summertime and hang out and get to know each other and talk while they wait for a haircut and communicate and not just stare at their phones the whole time. This was a special business for me and I sold it. I sold it about two and a half, three months ago to a friend of mine. I felt like I had built that structure as high as I could possibly take it and I felt useless in the business. I felt like it wasn't my passion. So I sold it and it wasn't an easy thing to do emotionally because that's my baby. That's my first ever business. It was a beautiful storefront. I had a great location in the best part of town and it was something special. But then I found something more special to me, which is you guys, which is this channel, which is being able to create and express myself however I want to. And I know maybe that doesn't sound so crazy, but I have bills, I'm not rich. That was my income, that was my food on my plate, that was my life, that was my security, it was my crutch. And I risked it all, I risked it all, just to do this, just to be able to do this full time. And everything I've been doing over the last two months has been preparation for this channel's future. So I've only been getting out two to three videos a week, which might seem like a great amount, but I wanna start putting out four to five videos a week. I wanna be able to take this next step in my life to a whole new level. I have plans for not only myself and my channel, but for everybody out there, for creators in general, for the YouTube community. I have big plans and big ideas for this platform. And it's not something at the moment that I could even share with you guys or have the power to accomplish. And as the channel builds, the opportunities build, and I'm looking to do something really special here with this channel. As you guys can see, I'm not your typical camera tech channel. I like to put my own twist on things, and most importantly, I like to be myself. I like to be funny, I like to have fun, I love to laugh, I love to joke around. So I don't really have a direction that I wanna go in with this video. I just kind of wanted to bring it to light. I, I've been planning on talking about this at some point and I just never really knew the right time when. I myself might be making a mistake making this move, but I gotta tell you, man, it feels right. Everything feels right. I've never had so much confidence in such an unsure thing in my life. I love you guys, you guys are awesome. The comments are great, your feedback, your opinions, your participation, your support. Everything you guys are doing is just, it's great. And, and I really do love you guys and I, I could have never expected such a fast growth in such a short amount of time. A lot of long-term long goals, 
and accomplishments that I set for myself in the beginning have came true a lot quicker than I expected them to. And for anybody out there that is attempting this YouTube thing and wants to be a creator full time, my advice to you is don't rush it. Enjoy the process, enjoy the struggle, enjoy that climb uphill. Anybody can go downhill. Anybody can go downhill. You could be out of shape and run down a hill. It's that uphill, that's the struggle, that's the hard part. That uphill climb is where you test yourself. That uphill climb is where you find out who you really are. And I think in this world, sometimes we steer away from accepting being proud of ourselves. And you should never do that. You should always be proud of yourself. If you accomplish something, if you did a really good job at it, there's nothing wrong with being proud of yourself. There's nothing wrong with patting yourself on the back. Now you don't have to be a cocky little douche about it and act like you're God's gift to this world, but it's okay to be proud of yourself. Being conceited and being proud of yourself are two totally different things. In this world, you have to be able to identify your strong points and your weak points. You have to be able to know the difference between your skills and your flaws. I'll be honest, man, I absolutely love figuring out what I'm not good at. I love identifying my weak points because it makes me want to improve. I've never been the type of person to say, that's too hard, screw that, that ain't for me. I ain't wasting my time doing all that. I like to live my life the opposite way. I like to say, if you can figure out how to do that, I can figure out how to do that. If you can accomplish that, I sure as hell can accomplish that. What's to stop me from doing the same thing? Now, you've completed something new. You've done something that you haven't done before. You've accomplished something. You've overcome something. You figured something out. And then, the reward to that is, you get to be proud of yourself again. Too much pride can stop you from progressing. Being proud of yourself can push you forward. As far as we know, in this world, we only get one shot. Today's date is Thursday, June 6, 2019. Thursday, June 6, 2019 will never exist again. You will never get this day back ever again. Why wait to do what you wanna do? Why keep putting stuff off that you know you have a passion for and that you wanna accomplish? And that's where I was at. I said, I don't wanna waste any more time doing this. I don't wanna waste any more time wishing I could be something else. I don't wanna waste any more time, even though this business is secure, it pays the bills, but guess what? At the end of the day, I still wasn't happy. And now, I have a lot less income coming in. I have a lot less security. I don't know where this road is gonna take me, and I don't know how it's gonna end. But I know it's the right thing to do. Like most people's sleeping problems are because they're worrying about something. They can't get something off their mind. They're, they're so worried. Oh my God, I hope this interview goes great tomorrow. Now I can't sleep, but I have to sleep because I have to be up early tomorrow. I gotta iron my suit, I gotta comb my hair, I gotta get into that office nice and early and I gotta nail this interview. Crap, now I can't sleep even more. But for me, when I can't sleep, now, because I'm excited. I'm like, man, sleeping sucks. I can't wait to wake up tomorrow, pack my gear up, get out there and film. I can't wait to do what I rearranged my entire life in a matter of two months to go do tomorrow. This, I can't wait to do this. I'm thinking about ideas for videos. I'm thinking about how to grow the channel. I'm thinking about how to bring something new to this platform. It's actually a really great reason to lose sleep. It's actually a really great reason to be on five hours as opposed to eight hours the next day. And I just lay in bed and I visualize and I write and I plan. And I don't know where this video is going, so forgive me if I'm just babbling. I just decided to take a drive and turn the camera on and speak to you guys and fill you in on what, what's going on here. Built a new studio. Super excited about that. We got the sound panels coming tomorrow. I bought a whole shitload of them. I got enough to cover every square inch of that room if I wanted to, including the floors. It sucks for it to be like minus 20 degrees out Fahrenheit. No such thing as Celsius. And then be outside in a snowstorm trying to review a damn camera or a lens with mittens on, shaking my balls off. It's not fun, so, so I had to prepare for the cold days. So I'm doing a lot of preparation right now. There's a lot of thought that goes into this channel. 
and there's a lot of thought that goes into the future of this channel one day a few years from now I'm gonna clip back to this video and we're gonna talk about what we talked about here today and we're gonna see how it all pans out if you want to you can follow me on Instagram at the underscore everything man if you like this video do me a favor click that thumbs up for me if you are not yet subscribed please do so I'd appreciate it highly all right I gotta get out of here these bugs are sticking to my sweaty forehead and I think I babbled enough for you guys so gotta get home do some work do some editing do some building do some creative stuff all the secret stuff that I got going on and I'll catch up with you guys on the next video. Enjoy your day. Salute. Resume is a heavy weight, yeah. Put it on my back. Give me everything, yeah. I need, uh, I need everything. I need all of everything, yeah.